folks saturday night welcome aboard murder hobo inc we're glad to have you this is the calamity edition uh so you know if you don't understand old humor, you probably aren't going to enjoy it. Uh, wow. Or you will. It's hard to say. Uh, thanks for being here. Don't forget to follow us on Twitch. Follow us on Twitter. Take a look at our YouTube archive. If you want to shoot the shit about D&D, &D, join our Discord. If you want to buy some cool stuff like a phone case or that sh cool shirt that Dave, Dave, a.k.a. Rob, a.k.a. Bill, a.k.a. Steve, the sporting, uh, you can find it over there. If you're in the market for some dice, and frankly, who isn't, uh, run on over to Twitter, uh, contact at Pirate Dog Dice, see if they have time to go ahead and make some customized dice for you that don't suck. Uh, or if you're like Kyle, get some dice that do suck because his rolls are horrible. <laughs> and of course, if uh, you want to spice up your game with something that smells better than the actual game, uh, go on over to Oddfish Games. I'll just keep throwing this around until it breaks uh, and grab yourself some adventure scents. Uh, they have over 60 cents to pleasure your nostrils and at least Ooh. one that will just burn it right out like acid. Uh, again, I, I have to rebroadcast that tape of Kyle killing himself. That was hilarious. Uh, note, we do not support suicide. He didn't die. He just wished he had uh <laughs> folks uh that's it for the rigmarole this is the calamity campaign before we do a recap let's go ahead and introduce you to the people who are going to make you go god they're stupid uh speaking of uh <laughs> classy clothe ears uh rob tell us about yourself tell us about dave <laughs> And you know uh -huh. it. Uh -huh. <laughs> uh -huh. Oh yeah, I can hear oh, everything. Yeah. Oh yeah, yeah. tell us more. Tell That's us more. fantastic, yeah. isn't it? Yeah. <laughs> that was a great recap. Thank you. It was. Yeah. I'm Rob. Actually, <laughs> Rob on socials. I play Dave. Um. <laughs> sorry. You aren't going to tell us about your cool new attire? No. What cool new attire? I don't have any new ones. This is the old shirt. I got to get some new ones. No, we're talking about Dave. Yeah. <laughs> oh, Dave's. Clothes. You know. I'm waiting to see what color it is when I wash it. <laughs> oh, you just washed it You're coming out of the sewers. Oh, Next yeah. up is David. David, same question, different answers. Hi, I'm David, and I play Ingve. Uh, Ingve, otherwise known as the Raven Kid, uh, here on Calamity. I also play Crow on our Calamity B side. Uh, I'm also Zadar in Cacophony. Uh, yeah, and uh, also I'm on Between the Rolls for uh, a lot of the time, but mostly for our Socium project that we have, and it's pretty awesome. It's some world building that we do at least twice a month, so it's great. So anyway, that's me. I'm Ingrid. Next up, Kevin. Hi, I'm Kevin, and I play Tall, a new member of the group here who is a paladin, who has a shotgun somehow, and I love it. Um, yeah, I'm just here playing. I can be found online at Kevran Games. I also have a podcast called Game Night Heroes. We have season two coming next week. Be there at Be Square, my friends. But uh, yeah, I'm glad to be here as always with these cool hip dudes. Uh, when, where, how? Oh, yeah, I don't know. It's it's a <laughs> no. It's um. Well, we're here every other Saturday, right? That's what you mean, no. <laughs> No, Game yeah, Heroes. Screw, screw my, your own podcast. Yeah. That's Bush League. <laughs> that thing, yeah. Uh, <laughs> no, it's like, it comes out on Tuesdays, so we'll be out Tuesday. Uh, the two, the season two, starting on February twenty second, two thousand twenty two. It's almost like I know what I'm doing. It's two, wild. Twenty two. That's 22. it. Play the lottery, oh guys, yeah. and you will win. Uh, <laughs> yeah, every Tuesday though, on all the places you can find podcasts. Prison. Yeah. Prison. Oh, definitely, prison. definitely prison. Good well, if times. you listen to it in prison, it might it might pull you up out of that darkness that you find yourself in. Is Jesus Maybe. in your podcast? He's <laughs> he, not yet, not yet. But we're branching out a little bit. We're getting some big people. Uh, Buddha. We might, we might have an appearance of a cast member from this show coming up soon. Maybe. Oh, I'm as long as it's either. not David, it should be fine. <laughs> <laughs> oh shit! Um, we gotta talk, David. <laughs> yeah. He goes on other shows. He doesn't wear clothes. <laughs> Well, luckily mine's all audio, so yeah, I don't it's to worry audio about that. anyway. So. <laughs> he'll he'll describe it in vivid oh, detail. <laughs> oh, ASMR in there. 
Oh, yeah, exactly. Hey, that's that's big from what I understand. I'm about ready to maybe explore that. My sword. Oh, goodness. Hi, everybody. I'm Jesse. Uh, I play Azari, the Lean and Ranger. Um, you can find me on all the uh, socials at JR Uh And uh, I probably may or may not talk to you if you do on them. He right. doesn't. I'm very <laughs> antisocial. I don't like people. I'm just, I'm here to hopefully capsize and die in a dramatic fashion. Oh, you mean like last week when these guys uh, fled a building that I, I'll, I'll go out and say it outright. Uh, they probably had something to do with that goddamn building coming down. Oh. Uh, they jumped into the sewers, uh, wandered through shit ridden tunnels and fought. Uh, some kind of giant snake, which for some reason, four fourth level adventurers had a real hard time with. <laughs> Not sure how that happened, but I always consider that not fun. our best moment. It was yeah. the yeah, the roles in the mechanics. Yeah. <laughs> now, Tall is from this region, uh, and he has fled from an alternative group of warriors who may or may not have sacked his village. Uh, the other three come from the city of Ba, as is Dave of Ba, and they are in town just hanging out looking for hookers and blow or uh, something to fix Azari's comatose sister. I think it's the latter. Now, these guys have wandered into a city it's a post-apocalyptic city because it's a post-apocalyptic campaign uh so far these guys have found pills <laughs> a hypodermic needle a lab coat uh and dave big winner dave uh has found a shotgun doesn't know how to use it unlike tall uh dave also has bunny slippers and uh, bunny slippers and a faux bear uh kids Snuggie. blanket yeah and he he also at one point in time had an airplane <laughs> pillow that he wore as a commodore hat but i think he gave that to somebody else did you not yeah okay so uh when last we met it was the middle of the night building falls over they jump into the sewer uh they uh come into not quite a cistern area but a central flow area they're trying to get to a building that was several blocks away that was illuminated because the other building that was illuminated, they got locked out of <laughs> because some brat kid uh, ran to his mom. So we'll begin tonight. Uh, we should have killed the kid. <laughs> you guys all stink. There is a floating serpent on here. Uh, the water is is not pouring in because it hasn't been raining here lately, uh, but there is uh, some moisture to about what what I say knee deep, I think. So uh, you guys are at the branch. You can continue across and forward, or you can take a left branch or a right branch. Um, I'll take survival checks by everybody. 18 or higher for this one. Oh, boy. Not quite. 17. Yeah. Not gonna do right it. off the bat. Net 20. Ooh, nice. 26. <laughs> Way to go, Raven Kid. <laughs> I got a six. <laughs> Azari? Oh, yeah, sorry. 21. Nice. Azari, Ingve, uh, you know that if you go right, you're thinking... That's all those old crushed buildings, kind of back towards where you came from originally. If you go left, there were some buildings there, but they didn't have lights on. And if you go straight, you're probably a block or two away from your destination, if there is an exit there. Let's continue straight. Yep. Yeah. Yep, continue straight. <clears throat> you continue straight. Uh, They've never it, seen pelt like this before. It kind of starts to curve <laughs> to the right. Uh, does Dave still have the torch? Yeah. Well, actually, okay. I handed it off to Ingve last time. But so Ingve has the torch. So who's leading yeah. down the uh, tunnel? I uh, guess Ingve, since I got the light source. <clears throat> okay. Mr. High survival you, over there. Yeah. You you can clearly tell. 
that it's curving kind of the right. Uh, you and Azari can figure out that nothing was really straight in this city except for those black lava roads, aka asphalt. Uh, but you think you're in a good position. Everybody, perception check. Oh, there's mine. Uh, what's my perception check bonus? Sure. Holy crap. Uh, oh, that's going to be a 26. Ooh. 11 plus 6, so 17. Tall also has a 17. Uh, 21 again. Uh, something sloshing around ahead of you. But well, Dave will take point. See it. Dave will move up to take point if he perceives that. Okay. okay I'll, if I perceive it, I will call lightly call attention to it every everybody has successfully heard the sloshing around yeah okay so dave wants to step in front of you ingve is that cool with you yeah that that's cool now remember there's a small ledge on either side of the water is anybody in the water i know i'm definitely not dave's uh, in the water now okay there we go so uh you can't really form a cohesive front line, but with Dave in the center, uh, everybody else should be able to do melee or magic. As you continue to round the corner, Ingve, you notice that the shadow that your torch casts of Dave extends him far ahead. <laughs> uh, everybody also hears the sloshing stop as the tunnel continues to curve. And then everybody hears the sloshing rapidly accelerate in the opposite direction. Mm. Azari, chase or no chase? Go on, Dave. We'll catch up to you. <laughs> go ahead. You go ahead. Yeah. <laughs> no chase. Okay. You guys continue on. You hear a loud bang. A metallic bang. Uh, not, not too far like ahead. Not a boomstick bang. Not a boomstick bang. Uh, but not too far ahead. You continue to kind of round around. And up ahead, Dave, you will notice moonlight is filtering down in a cistern area again. But this time, there's illumination. Again, the swirling vortex of water going into this central area coming from a tunnel on the left tunnel straight ahead left and straight ahead all right mm -hmm. um and i don't see anyone uh give me an investigation check <coughs> um it's not that bad 17 there are rusty iron rungs set into the tunnel on the left as your vision goes up you notice one of them round things. Uh, that it would make a metal up. noise like that. Made a pretty big banging noise. Keep in mind, uh, it wasn't that easy to pry off. Yeah. <coughs> uh, the rest of you catch up to Dave. You see well, the same The moonlight's thing. coming in. How is it coming through a grate? It is coming through a grate in the center of the cistern area. As you look up, it's a dome-like grate. Uh, the moonlight filters in. Small amounts of precipitation are, are dropping in, uh, but no eyes. Dave no, wants to uh, take out his, his new hoodie and like hold it up in the light to see what color it is. It's a tan. Puts it on. Nice natural earth tone color. Nice, just wanted nice. to look at it in the moonlight to see what it looked like. All sure. right. Um, and then the other thing I want to do is, is look to the right and then across and see if there's any like metal trap door or like door. Cause I heard something bang and it sounded metallic. To the right is nothing. The, the wall continues to the left. It's an offshoot tunnel that seems to give a slight rise. A straight ahead continues at the same depth. Uh, the light is filtering in about 10 feet up. So you are about 10 feet below ground. And the water in this area is still knee deep roughly, or has it, that changed at all? It is knee deep. Uh, however, as you guys get there, you'll notice that the left one, uh, you can see down the tunnel and it, it just kind of rises. And then the water 
probably is going to get more shallow uh, if you go that route. Uh, Dave, do you point out the iron rungs in the metal circle? Yep. It's similar to how you guys got down here. In the, well, you guys all jumped, didn't you? Yes. Yeah, to jump. Yeah. Well, semi climbed, <laughs> fell, yeah. jumped. Yeah, yeah. That, that's right. You had the shitty roll. Jumps. We yeah. jumped. It was <laughs> glorious. <laughs> so that that's what you're seeing here. Uh, there is no noise. Not crickets. Not woodland creatures. Not even a breeze. Just the water moving around. Mm. We are safe from others who might come down below, but I do not want to rest here. You've gotten used to the smell. <laughs> That's something. <laughs> yeah, but I mean, I kind of agree with Tal, not unless we, we had to either keep moving or we get out of here to go above ground. Let's go up and All check right. see. Oh. Who wants to climb the iron rung and try and lift it? Azari will give it a shot. Oh, okay. As he, steps, as he steps oh. away, Tal puts his hand up and says, I cannot feel if any of the dead who walk are around anymore today. Careful. Watch the scythe trap. Yeah. <laughs> Stick your head up. Oh. <laughs> Might be new me, dead who walk. Yeah. Give me your uh, strength check. Okay. Nice. Nat 20 plus 3, 23. Nice. You get it up about two inches and all of a sudden it just slams back down at a regular angle. Okay. The three of you notice that moonlight gone. Hmm. And oh. yeah. that's you hear oh. Dave's the Cato Caitlin wrapping ah. uh, where the moonlight was coming through like a stick on metal. Who there? Who day? Who day? Sorry. Dave of Ba. Hi. <laughs> I'll step out into the moonlight so you can see me. No moonlight. Uh, oh, that into the end of the been covered into the center area. Yep. So it's see been if they look down. Nope. You look up and there's like burlap. Oh, I am, I am Azari of Ba. Open this grate. You hear. The- stone on metal up top. They seal us in? I say looking around to the others. They're not letting us out. It They're seems... up. There's one tunnel that goes up. Dave's going up that tunnel. Straight? Or it goes up at a slope. Okay. That's where Dave heads. Just it, Dave's, Dave's like, fuck this shit. And he, he's going that way. Uh, hey. Tall and Ingve. I think he's just decided the direction that we're going in, so I'm not going to let him go alone. Yeah, no. We should not split. Let's keep so going. I'll follow. Oh, exactly. sure, don't split the party. This is Bizarre, are you climbing back down? Uh, I will try and one more time. Allow us, allow us up. We do not mean anyone harm. Strength check. Okie dokie. That's off. 18. Nope. Uh, this time it doesn't even get up an inch. Uh, it, it feels when you push up on it, it feels uneven as though. Give me an insight check. Okay. 19. Uh, there's probably somebody, a couple of people standing on top of that thing, holding it down. Uh, they've blocked it. They're placing their weight upon it. Even all look, of us, we couldn't look, get this open. Yeah, you look down and you're talking to yourself. <laughs> Fantastic. Great teamwork, everyone. I can uh, see why we haven't died yet. And I start to <laughs> climb back down. To go. <laughs> Dave, by this time, you've reached a solid metal door uh, with what appears to be a small grate with like metal bars on it. That's about you, Dave. Uh, and there's 
water coming down underneath the uh, rusty edge of this doorway. The mic is dropping out. <laughs> yep. There you go. Um, okay. Um, can I see hinges? Dave knows how hinges work. No. Nope. Hinges are on the inside. Azari, give me a perception check as you. Okay, ready. I'm going to bust out my great club. Sure. Uh, I think it was a 20. Uh, you see a little bit of moonlight and you see some shadowy figures up top. So they're keeping an eye on you. Go ahead and beat the drum, Dave. <laughs> um, 22. So I guess yeah. it's going to hit. Yeah, it, hell, it's a door. How are you going to miss that thing? Yeah. Uh, <laughs> you, 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 you hit Yngwie's teeth out. Uh, I, I do max damage. Uh, that's 12 points of bludgeoning damage to it. Uh, I'm, yeah, I'm kind of aiming for one side of it so that I can try and bash the door open. Sure. Uh, you, you give it a little dent. Uh, call Dave. At disadvantage, Ingve perception check. Okay. Disadvantage, oh boy. No, no, only Dave. Only Dave. Oh, um, I'm sorry. At I thought you said totally disadvantage. Dave. I have a fifteen. Oh, uh, you said perception. Yep. Yeah. Uh, yeah, fifteen as well. Uh, fourteen for tall. Fourteen. Uh, there's something coming out from the bottom, and just from the torch. Uh, it, it's really shiny, almost iridescent, and it doesn't sit well on the water, kind of sits near the top. Uh, Azari, you noticed that the burlap has been moved and shadowy figures were above. You can hear Dave knock, knock, knocking on, on Heaven's door. Okay. Uh, do you want to do anything with the grate or uh, just go on up with them? Uh, I will speak up. Please allow us entrance. We are not your enemy. Hopefully, I say oh. the last. I say the last part. I say the last part under my breath. I say the last part under my breath. Like, oh, hopefully, <laughs> clang. Yeah. Um. Stop beating on the damn door, boy. <laughs> Go ahead, knock, give me, knock. Give me a persuasion check. Oh, sh- at minus this- two. Oh, geez. Okay, Ooh. cool. Flat roll then for me. Nice. That's a six. Good thing I'm persuasive you. as fuck. Love it. Love it. <laughs> uh, the burlap covers it again. Uh, Dave, after your resounding second hit, uh, Dave, Tall, and Ingve hear a shh. Yeah. <laughs> which I you think... all recognize as Flint and Tinder. Yeah. Oh, so uh-huh. the- Shiny thing on the ground. Can I pull one of my javelins off my back and spit it in the hand and try to pin it to the ground or pin it beneath the water? Or are you referring to a sheen on the water or something? I think it, they're fuel, pouring fuel oil on the water. Liquid, guys. yes. Oh, I see. Okay, I misunderstood. I thought it was it like something know what fuel shiny oil is, though, in. or else I'd be jumping the hell out of the way if I knew well, what fuel see, oil See, what was. I thought at a game was I'm thinking a mirror, like somebody put it under to look at us. That's what I yeah. thought it was like a periscope. Cool. So, um, okay. Um, interesting. <laughs> uh, wow. That great Dave. Yeah. Slides open and you see a pair of eyes. Knock, knock. Hi. You go, you go. You come. How you do go. we leave here? Go back where you came. Azari, are you sticking around the Citadel area? or? Yeah, I'm going to keep, because I know they're up there, and I don't hear battle. I just hear knocking on the door, so I'm just going to let that go and continue <laughs> trying to speak with these people. Who are you above us? D12 against me. Okay. Eight. Aw, oh, six. Okay. Uh, Dave, Tall, Ingve. Uh, the good news is, uh, Dave, where you were standing, didn't have any water. Bad news is, whatever that black fluid is, 
is now covering those bunny slippers and it's going into the water where tall and Ingve are at mm. with just kind of sitting there and you three here whoosh uh and see a little bit of illumination i know what floor. that is i'm running uh you're gonna knock over your two associates um <laughs> Hopefully, we're running. When someone <laughs> turns and runs. You should go with them. Yeah, I'm yeah, just exactly. running in the water. You know. <laughs> hey, where are you going, Dave? <laughs> yeah. Wait, we didn't get what in the gives? door. Yeah. <laughs> Run, uh, tall and Ingve. Uh, Dave turns around with a look of fear in his eyes. What do you want to do? Well, if Run. the barbarian's afraid, I'm going to follow. But I'll make sure I'm the last of the three to leave the area. I have some resistance against fire, so I could. That sound happened right before the bit. building came down. So <laughs> Dave knows yeah. what the fuck that <laughs> we is. We know that sound. <laughs> uh, so you three roll dexterity. Uh, Azara, you want to try and persuade him again? Woo! Sure. The straight 21. dexterity. Uh -huh. Okay. We only uh, seek medicine, health. My sister is ill. We've come here for to help her. Huh? God, fucking quit the sixes. I was about to say, man, and you and you're playing the six sister card. Oh. So. <laughs> uh Tal and Ingve, what'd you get for your dexterity? I got uh, a dirty 20, 17 plus three. I got a dirty 20 as well. That's twice now we've had the same role, Dave. Oh, okay. excuse me, Ingve. All, all, all three of you start to run down the uh, incline, and you hear as I'm the sure there's whole... pretty good bloom of orange light behind us too. Yeah, yeah it's uh, it's sparking. Meanwhile, you guys are fast. <laughs> you run down into the uh, center section, and Azari is just botching the shit out of his request like hey you cocksuckers you better let us out here. <laughs> i'm gonna kill all every sixes. one of you if you don't let us out <laughs> i'll kill your family i'll have sex with you make you pregnant and i'll kill them <laughs> oh it's funny because you go robo with your mic at the same time yeah. so it's like robo hey. frank as it's exploding i want to run in slow motion <laughs> yeah, it's like uh, <laughs> just don't turn around. Just, just yeah, walk up, like, just walk calm. Dogs. You know. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Oh cool yeah, the walk explosions. away from explosion. Yeah, don't <laughs> look back. Exactly. Yeah, don't uh, look back sorry. Explosion. There's a loud explosion, and your three associates come meandering out. Like I don't know what happened. <laughs> <laughs> that was weird, guys. Huh? Yeah. <laughs> Nothing to see up there, sorry. <laughs> uh, it's going very poorly. Uh, <laughs> but please, we only seek medicine and help. I will hand you my weapons. If I may, if we may enter. The tarp comes off at that one. Um, and Azari hands up his bow and will like hold up his bow and his arrows and his swords like I like this is this is his last yeah what about them uh, I speak only for myself I cannot speak for my associates thanks I, Dave uh, pulls the bundle well, of weapons we did walk off together. without him I From know one, Paladin. I know Dave and Dave giving up weapons is a big if and right. Paul I don't know if he'll do it so I'd rather I'd rather let you choose your own path at this point if you want to go with or if you're going to. Yeah, I'm going to go with. So. Or if you'd rather try and kill somebody too. Yeah. So yeah. Ingrid's going to give up his weapons. Uh, Tall, uh, you and Dave. Oh, mulls over for a moment and he looks to the people outside and he says, um, I can heal those sick or hurt. Uh, With. A lady, a lady's voice says, "Then why don't you help his sister?" <laughs> <laughs> Our travels together are new. Uh, Tall, uh, the lady's voice is a pretty close dialect to yours, okay. so you, you'll have a much easier time understanding her than well, these others. Will. Okay. Um, there's going to be some kind of uh, language discrepancy, you know, okay. wood, wood, and wood, 
two, two and two, stuff like that. Sure. Uh, but you are going to understand her better. So uh, anytime I call for an insight role with these guys, you'll be at advantage. So okay. uh, Dave, are you giving up your weapons? Dave or Inve? Dave. I will take the bundle of weapons that I tied up from the other tall and hold them up and go, Dave, give these weapons. It's not going to fit through that hole. <laughs> I'm just holding it so you can see it. Uh, everybody hears a metallic door slam open. Uh, and the sound of feet rapidly coming down that. Uh, Where we just came down? Yep. I'll hold the weapons out that way. I'm not you holding guys, out any of my weapons. You guys or my uh, boomstick. No notice way. this whole group, maybe 10, 15 little fuckers, about three and a half feet tall. They're covered in war paint, black grease, uh, shirtless, even the females, uh, wearing loincloths. And they're carrying these crude spears with jagged pieces of metal attached to them. Uh, it's like a broomstick holding on to giant razor blades. Here. They nice. immediately surround you. Uh, they take Dave's bundle. Um, you need better weapons. They, they don't seem to notice the two boomsticks at all. So uh, Dave, D12 against me. Six. I have to find a 12. Here we go. Oh, that's an 11. Uh, you notice that some of them are uh, saying the word Oso. Uh, tall, uh, you realize that they think Dave's part bear. Ah. Gab yes. say Dave eat like bear. Yes, they're, but they're but they're very confused about the bunnies. Like the bear should eat the bunnies, but apparently the bear likes the bunnies as pets. Yeah, Tal will look at them and say, bunnies. "Yes, my friend is pansy, strong." <laughs> yes, pansy. Didn't, didn't we? Yeah, pansy. we clarify that. We want that right. Pansy, so, pansy yeah, day. Pansy. Uh, they like it. <laughs> you can't help but see Azari just mildly chuckling to himself, like, oh. uh, big pansy. Yes. yes. <laughs> Biggest pansy in big pansy this group. Dave. Uh, Dave, Ingve, and Azari, uh, you hear the female voice say something tall. Uh, clearly, she's giving directions to all these. I don't know, lost boys or whatever the hell they are. I like these better than Peck Peck. You said they were like three feet tall, like yep. three, three and a half feet tall. Oh my gosh. Yep. Dave and I just tower over them like just <laughs> and they are concerned about you guys. Um, they come all the way up to Dave Belt Buckle. <laughs> so I want to turn that, to the that's not an advantage. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> yeah, I was about yeah. to say. <laughs> Called I have shots similar to clothing taste, though you know, I've got the loincloth. <laughs> Set so. you up perfect oh, for it. Turkish revenge. Man. Ooh, oh, <laughs> you got extra time? for that kind of thing. Usual. Um, yeah. <laughs> I want to turn to no. the woman, and I slip into uh, the infernal language. My friends and I mean you no harm. We are travelers, and we do seek help. Do you come from the west? I don't, I, don't know. I don't know. Maybe he's French. <laughs> <laughs> she does not have my claw. I was just You're testing. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. Uh, your test is successful. She does not know Infernal. I, I think you should ch try Latin, you know? Hey. Yeah. It's common language for you two, eh? Oh, I, I think a pig Latin might help you out. <laughs> yeah. uh, oh, the, li the little monsters uh, have decided to poke at you and tell you that away. So they want you to return up the incline and go there. I'll just and march right up the incline. Turn my back on. I'm not even concerned. The shallow incline. I didn't notice there more of them. One of them is armed with like a greenish red bucket kind of looking thing. Uh, 
and is holding some kind of metallic cone at you. You don't know what it is. Uh, Hi. As you come out, you are in essentially a parking garage, an underground parking garage. And there's another 25 of these little bastards running around. I'm still uh, not concerned. Yeah. <laughs> you, you are underground, uh, stone ceiling, stone floor, stone walls. There's a ramp uh, over to one side. And the one with the cone uh, is telling you to go that way. So you, they want you to go up the, up the level. So, uh, yeah. um, so you know, you guys, Dave doesn't want to be threatening, so he pulls out a jaw harp and just starts twanging a little bit as he walks up. Oh, that's not going to help. <laughs> yeah. uh, uh, Dave, man, I don't simple know. folk. Yeah, yeah, <laughs> salt of the earth. Uh, <laughs> it's just the bamboo one. So it's <laughs> performance check, Dave. Oh, yeah, yeah, I'm good at that. Minus two. Uh, 12. Had to do math. Ooh, hard. 17. Uh, the female with the, the green and red thing with the cone uh, shrieks loudly, comes running up, does something, and this white mist comes out of the cone and just covers you in this foam substance. <laughs> <laughs> nice the fire extinguisher (laughs) give me a dexterity check to see if you if you really botch this you're going to swallow that fucking harp (laughs) uh that's a 21 19 plus two okay it falls from your mouth but it's right there you are just covered in this creamy white foam uh like that hasn't happened before not do it first time <laughs> again you have to pay extra for that <laughs> yeah that's it that's it uh they have not think gonna share his beer with these people <laughs> well that makes it that makes him fire retardant now right yeah, yeah, yeah. retardant is the key word there yeah, I think it was, yeah. <laughs> tall azari and ingve this kind of looks like an aggressive action yeah i um they have yeah. taken my weapons correct <laughs> They've taken everything but your boomsticks because they don't perceive those as being weapons. Interesting. Um, Hope we're <laughs> shotgun time. <laughs> yeah, I um, I'll grab one of them and have to oh, up boy. off the ground. Okay. Oh, this say, is gonna go well. <laughs> and I'll look to the to the to the woman. I'm assuming is their leader. She's not and there I, yet. Oh, she's not there yet. Okay. Well, I'll still grab one of them and. By the throat and hoist him up off the ground. Okay. Uh, you have grabbed a male. Okay. That's fine. Oh, okay. I thought you had me roll something. So I picked him up. I like I, that one. I look to the others and I say, We have been kind. You have not. You hear, did you hear that thing? <laughs> <laughs> he was going to use magic on us. I look at Dave and I look at them and I get just an incredulous look on my face. Dave only have magic bunnies. <laughs> he is a bear, not a wizard. Uh, are you still holding the kid? Yeah. Ingve, what's a wizard? Does a 16 hit you? It does because I don't have my shield currently equipped. Right in the nuts. <laughs> you get. I, I drop him. <laughs> One hit point. (laughs) Oh, Uh, he left or right? (laughs) Odd, even. Odd. Your left one is. Oh, Uh, Oh, that's the big one. As as you as you drop him, he whips out two sticks. Uh, very fast. It seems rather proficient with these things. Uh, but then you hear a voice, no. Uh, and a figure at the top of the incline, uh, Dave. Oh, hi. <laughs> <laughs> uh, uh, the, the figure has stopped further action. Uh, all of these children-sized people take a knee. 
Paul is also on his knees because of the <laughs> of course shot to is. the nuts. <laughs> you do not have to cry for me, Tal. Yeah. <laughs> uh, Dave, Ingve, and Azari. I don't know. There seems to be a lot of hostility here, but whoever yeah. this lady is, who's not a whole lot taller than them, uh, and you aren't close enough to tell anything. Oh, it's a lady? It. You can tell from the voice it's a female. Hi, lady. I'm Dave. Yeah. I say to Azari, we, we got to hear her story. I'm just holding up my big empty uh. hand. <laughs> Zari mumbles off like several things in different languages that are not <laughs> not very positive uh, reinforcement for this situation. But sure. they have no no languages. Uh, what languages are you going to use? Uh, under common and deep speech. That she will not be offended. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> uh, <laughs> okay, Tal, you're kind of quasi useful again. <laughs> Uh, and you notice that the the one on his knee is just kind of side eyeing you because he's still ready to give you the stick time. He's gonna beat you like an Ontario trucker. Ooh. <laughs> Ooh. Too soon. Oh. You're about to get those sticks, eh? <laughs> oh yeah, don't you know? I, I heard uh, of that a screamer before, you know. The yeah. Philippines do that. Yeah. Our Canadian viewers are like, that's not how we sound like it. Yeah, well, that's, <laughs> that's not it at all. <laughs> all that guy do it once. That's a, no, I, so, I yeah. give him a side eye Come for a moment. Show too, us. That's fair. Then, I'll, uh, I'll, I'll look to the woman who I perceive is to be the leader, and I will stand. I am tall of Taram. This, and I will point to Azari, is. Our leader. Get the leader position. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> you know, just no. the way they presented themselves to me when I, I met them. Um, and I will say, um, we seek help and aid. We can trade services. Oh. <laughs> well. This old lady hasn't seen stuff in a while. (laughs) We are. She snaps her fingers and motions to somebody. Uh, You guys notice that a diminutive figure approaches, female this time, and has a bucket. And the old lady points at Dave, and the girl goes, splash. (laughs) Wiping away the foam. Uh, so <laughs> that's you there. Need that. Uh, Tol, she says something in a language only you can understand mm. and asks you, uh, do you mean us harm? In that same language, I'll speak back to her and say, um, I can hear him. Okay, yeah, I lost sure your camera, at all. <laughs> Weird. I'm not sure what's going on with that, but uh, I am still here. Um, yeah, you guys can hear me, you said, right? Mm-hmm. Yep. Yeah. Okay, cool. I, I'll uh, look to her and say <laughs> that um, we do not mean you any harm. We are travelers and we do seek aid. Our leader's sister is infirmed and we need to make sure that she is safe. I am a healer of small renown, but I have not met his sister. Or I will aid her myself. Persuade. Persuasion. This you said this was with an advantage dealing with these people earlier. Yep. You said that? Okay, then that's going to be persuasion is going to be a twenty-one. That is fair. Uh, she motions something. She's she's doing a hand jive, and uh, the individuals who have taken your weapons. Return them. Uh, Tall, uh, as your weapons are coming back to you, Stick Boy puts his hands up uh, and she chastises this guy. His name is uh, uh, Groomio. I'm making a note. If you guys, if you guys ever get time, Look it's up the new the tech TV show, plebe. Uh, yeah, I was about- 
Yeah. <laughs> Grumio will enjoy this. Um, so Grumio stands back, still giving you the stink eye, uh, and your weapons are returned to you. Uh, she then speaks out in guttural common. Uh, this one has said, you will not harm us. We will take you at his word. Uh, okay. Do not disappoint. If they try and hand Dave back the bundle of weapons that from the other tall, <laughs> as Dave thinks of him, uh, Dave will go, no, you need good weapons. Um, <laughs> we will accept your gift in kind. See, it's already Dave trade. Uh, so trade gift for kind. The, yes, the person, the person draws back and sets them down, and about a half a dozen of the uh, little people are like, whoop, <laughs> and start looking. Was the shotgun in there? No. Okay. No, oh, Dave kept that. That's why Dave had two <laughs> and six red things. Uh, so why did you come to your or no, she'll call it Mayo. Mayo. Why did you come to Mayo? The clinic. No. Uh, <laughs> we are here to heal my sister seeking medicines. Where is your sister? She ah. is home in our village. Uh, she looks at Dave and says, bless you. Oh, where is your village at? Oh, I cannot remember which way uh, we came from. How, I will... how many days have we traveled since we about, left? About a week and a half. Yeah. Uh, East. She is, <gasps> she is in, she is 10 days East from here. Uh, what healing do you need? She is sleeping heavily, will not awaken. Because when she gets that feeling, <laughs> she needs sexual healing. That's, don't, make, uh, don't make me really break out the fire extinguisher. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Hose Dave down. That's my <laughs> sister, you son of a bitch. <laughs> Everybody's ganging up on Dave this time. Uh, Big target. I think the elder would probably need to help. I have your word. You are not hostile. Ingve, what a hostile. Unless hostilities <clears throat> are against us, we give you our word. Oh. Paul's looking at the little guy with the sticks. Oh, yeah. You, you guys are locked in, man. Yeah. The, the, you have, there's some enmity there. Uh, you might as well call him Peck Peck from now on. These two might <laughs> want to duke it out. Maybe, <laughs> maybe there's some sexual tension to make out later. <laughs> you know, whatever. They <laughs> are using a lot of big words. Uh, okay. Uh, she will lead you up the ramp. Uh, her retinue will cover you on the sides. You notice that some of the people have gotten uh, photols, uh weapons, and they're fiddle fucking around with them. Uh, the fire extinguisher girl has found another fire extinguisher, and she's going to hang around Dave. Uh, Tall, your guy is a whole lot closer than, than the other column. And he's, he's not even looking. He's just staring at you right in the belly button. <laughs> uh, you want you guys... to see a Stygian <laughs> bolt fight? Do you want to see a popsicle? <laughs> hey, what's a popsicle? <laughs> Yes, a frozen no treat. <laughs> it's a frozen treat from a far off land. The stick of an ass. <laughs> wow. As you guys make it up to this next level, you notice that there is some really staticky illumination. Uh, they had just finished installing LEDs in this thing uh, when the calamity struck, and some of the LEDs are still working. <laughs> it, it is enclosed. There are several of those weird small houses with the round wheel thingies, taxis here. <laughs> and uh, 
there are several doors. Uh, you notice that the retinue are going off into separate areas. Groomio is not. Fire extinguisher girl is not. Uh, a handful of others, newly armed, courtesy of Dave. Way to go, Dave. Give the Indians automatic weapons, dumbass. Uh, <laughs> this is how history gets changed. Yeah. Uh, they continue to follow you. Uh, but again, Groomio is only on tall. Uh, there's some issues there. Yeah. Uh, she leads you through uh, what appears to be a stairwell, similar to that place on that island. Uh, and you guys go up several flights uh, tall. She will engage you in the language that these other three cannot understand mm -hmm. uh, and point and ask you point blank. How did you find these three? I came to the city for other reasons that they did not. I the was. Yes. I, I, well, I came to the city of Mayo with my other companions who have since been killed by the Kelvin Raiders, those who sacked my homeland. I have joined with these three because their companion has vanished. He disappeared to the north for reasons I do not know or understand. But I wish to aid them. The Kelvin Raiders need to be stopped. And I know this city has dangers. <laughs> there is the dead who walk, as well as a flying giant lizard. We have briefly encountered both. I came here simply to seek out answers as to why my homeland to the west was destroyed. Uh, she calls Grumio up, uh, says something to him silently, and then asks, what does their other friend look like? Well, I did not see him fully, but I did notice that he carried himself as a warrior would. Although I did not see him with any weaponry. He was dressed with, I would say, comfortable, if not functional clothing. Perhaps even someone who would be a sort of monk or um, a student of sorts. Sort of He's wearing student. Crocs now. Uh, okay. um, Don't forget the ear necklace. <laughs> Azari is listening to all this, them talk intently, trying to see if he can do his best to try and pick up on language because he wants to. Love he it. doesn't like being left out of this. He wants to know what's going on. So he's really trying to, since he knows five languages, he's really trying to pick up on theirs. Or give me a D20. Yeah. Dave doesn't care because he doesn't yeah. understand what people say half the time anyway. 16. <laughs> <laughs> you're you're kind of catching bits and pieces. Okay. Uh, and Tull's accent's a little bit different. Okay. Uh, it, it sounds like he's describing Rakir. Hmm. I won't say anything. I'm just going to keep listening, trying to like piecemeal more and more words. Sure. Uh, Tal, uh, she talks to Grumio, sends Grumio away. Uh, he kind of, you know, walks away like this. <laughs> <laughs> nice. <laughs> Still hating your guts. Uh, and he leaves to go. Hell, you don't know where. Uh, he drops down on the one of the levels because you guys go up about six flights uh, and he's gone. Uh, Dave doesn't care. Azari is too busy listening. Ingve, any issues with that? No, no issues. I'm okay. just following Azari's lead. So uh, You guys get up about six floors. It's actually going to be the fifth floor above ground and you are in some kind of, uh, I'll put it bluntly, hotel. Uh as you enter this area, there, there's a lobby, an atrium. Um, I, I don't want to say uh, kingly, but nice place. Uh, there's even a water feature there of a cherub Ooh. peeing into a pool. Ooh. Is it covered in gold leaf? Is this a Trump property? Uh, it is not a Trump property. Uh, okay. it, 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 it is now owned by Deutsche Bank. <laughs> oh, <okay. laughs> Formerly a Trump property then. Formerly a Trump property. Uh, but no, it, it's, it's classy. Uh, the furnishings are very, they're old, uh, but 
I mean, you could probably sleep on some of these benches. These are, mm. these are padded benches. Uh, there are something that reflects, you guys have never seen a mirror. So you guys have been duplicated is all, you know, tall, I'm assuming would know what a mirror is because these guys mm. came from West Virginia. You did not. <laughs> Okay. Oh, they have water on wall. <laughs> so uh, you guys do that. She sits on an elevated seat uh, that doesn't, it looks out of place here. Uh, and she speaks to Azari, Ingve, and Dave. Uh, your friend here has told me you came with another. Uh, Rock here. Yes. Is this your sister? The other? Yeah. No. That is a comrade who has chosen a different path at the worst time. What is a comrade? Is that a communist? Similar. <laughs> it is a... Uh, Never mind. It is a, a friend of a friend formed in combat. Understands those words. Uh, so your sister is just asleep? Yes. Have you had one of these guys try and kiss her? No. <laughs> <laughs> the sleep is far deeper than something as simple as that. She was possessed by a ghost. She pulls out a book. It's pretty beat up, pretty faded. Uh, you don't understand the language. Uh, but it's got this beautiful princess on it and a knight fighting a dragon. And she flips through the pages and you see the blonde lady sleeping. And then the prince kisses her. Was, who's you being flutey? Have, have, this you, is, have you tried this? No, this is a <laughs> tale. Uh, an old tale. This is not. There was no dragons or. There's a dragon up there. True, but <laughs> my sister was not beset by a dragon, a ghost, uh, a kind of my, like, and a uh, like the undead, only uh, oh, how do I explain it? Um, Odd like, like the undead, only yes, yes, like a cloud that can. You've never seen a ghost. Fantastic. <laughs> it's like talking to a wall. Uh, it takes a lot of hits to make it go. A person made of clouds. That's the best description. A cloud person? A Pretty ghost much. is a is the is the dead in a different form. Not not ah, to walk. Ah, ah, ah. ah. Uh says something tall she's asking for another book uh fire extinguisher girl runs off comes back and has another book this one is a big thick book very ornate uh cover on it flips through the pages and you see a spectral figure wearing chains talking to a guy wearing a top hat yes that is a ghost Ah, Marley, your daughter, your sister is Marley. No, no. <laughs> My sister. Paul's nodding like he finally understands so what's going on. Marley so, must mean ghost. So like, you know, no, <laughs> Dave My, gets sister, that. My sister was attacked Dave's Mark. by Marley. Yeah. Dave, kill Marley. But Marley and flips a couple of pages and you see uh Marley helping uh Scrooge Scrooge yes Different but Marley. Marley did not help Marley <clears throat> hurt flips back a couple pages so this Marley your sister hurt them at Tanagra yes. <laughs> yeah, with a yeah. spell. Yes, Bon I weep Nini Bon. The wife uh, is screaming <laughs> from the other room right now. <laughs> uh, 
Yes. Uh, I, I love forcing her to watch that show. <laughs> <laughs> uh, okay. She thinks she has a handle on it now. Uh, she says something else. Tall. You realize food's coming. Uh, the children. Uh, and, and they're old now that you can see them in light because this place is covered in uh, oil lamps mm-hmm. uh, that they've scrounged around. Uh, these are old. They, they are not children. Uh, they're halflings, essentially. Uh, and they bring huge heaping plates. I mean, giant silver ones, the silver uh, trays. Ladders. Yeah. Yeah. yeah nice and, hotel. And brings it. Uh, food and drink for you guys. Uh, Tall, she says a phrase, and you know that it means honored guest. I I bow to her. <laughs> if um, I'll say this so they can all understand in the common tongue. Forgive, we did not ask your name, hostess. My name is Mara might be important i am tall of taram looks at ingve okay uh spa looks at azari azari of the starfellers looks at dave i'm dave none of you had the guts to say jim my name is Jim. <laughs> <laughs> Bond, James Bond. <laughs> oh, that would have been awesome. <laughs> Call me Big Pansy Dave. Yeah. <laughs> you're, you're a little person. Well, of course you are. <laughs> uh, tell, tell when Dave says Pansy Dave, she looks at you kind of puzzled. It is their word for great warrior. Azari chuckles. <laughs> okay. Uh, do you guys want to eat? Big drink? I will wait for Mara to eat first, and then I will eat. Sure. Uh, she'll she'll dig in. That's not a big deal. Uh, and there's so, some of the trays have these yellow cakes. <gasps> oh! <laughs> I knew they survived the apocalypse. Oh yeah. <laughs> so, some of them have long, slender sticks of meat. Oh yeah. <laughs> They're so like these weird plastic mm, wraps. We got to snap it and spicy. It. You, uh, you got the Slim Jims and the Twinkies. <laughs> nice. Lovely. That's a feast. That's that it. Breakfast feast. of Champions right there, guys. <laughs> and Hawaiian Punch. Cool. Nice. Oh, man. I'm surprised there's no, there's no tang. <laughs> oh, there we go. It's not breakfast. <laughs> Orange for breakfast. Got it. Yeah. yeah. Uh, so if you guys want to eat, just give me a con check. Uh, it's not poison. It's just to see how you like it. Yeah, yeah. Uh, I'll, uh, I'll try a Twinkie. Yeah, you know. Five. <laughs> so I, was like, I was like, you people eat <laughs> this processed mess. <laughs> wait, till, wait till you get on Taco Night. Yeah. <laughs> um, nice. Dave apparently thinks the jerky's pretty damn good. Hold on. Let me put on my shocked face that the barbarian might Slim Jim's good. <laughs> oh, yeah, brother. Let me snap into this bad boy here. Hey, according to this con roll, oh, Dave likes yeah. it almost as much as he likes beer. Oh, Ingve and Tall, how do you guys like it? Tall's got a uh, 17. Yeah, I rolled a 20 on the Twinkie. So, oh, nice. yeah, I'm digging the Twinkie. Yeah, Tall's just eating everything. He's He's just Completely just having at it. Oh, yeah. Dave's got whipped cream or Twinkie filling on his nose and a stick in the other hand. Like Azari eats nice. sparingly, like out of <laughs> more, more courtesy than actual yeah. enjoyment. He's like, it's food. Yeah, it's food. It's, right. yeah. <laughs> it's foodish. Uh, Dave, just be careful. You still have some of the uh, fire retardant on you. Oh, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Uh, you, bath. you guys have a meal uh she asks 1d4 three azari tell a story uh what kind of story do you want to tell her uh azari will tell a story of uh how his um his family uh trekked across uh oh, a great many lands back in the boar oh back back in the boar 
Bizarre Much better of, story. The story about Peck Peck and the boar in uh with some uh, artistic liberty. E12 against me. Okay. Three. Oh, damn it. Uh, she liked the story up until the point where Dave started to laugh when Peck Peck was thrown up into the air and skewered. Uh, she leans over to Tall and says, uh, how long have you known these guys? <laughs> <laughs> this, I'll say in the other tongue, this will be the second day I have known them. Mm, okay. Dave, she wants guess to hear you had to be story. there. Two days uh, too long. <laughs> Two. She wants a story from Ingbe. Uh I tell her the story of my childhood uh, and about the raven. D12 against me? Okay. Uh, 11. Mm-hmm. So you uh, are a uh... Oh! 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 <laughs> uh, I see. I speak to animals. Do they answer? Yes. I, I can hear what animals think and what they're trying to say. Two days, you said. Two days. <laughs> <laughs> no, to, to, to tall. Yeah, no, her- no, no, I'm, this is Dave, the, the player, laughing. I'm like, yeah, <laughs> two days. <laughs> I give her a sagacious nod. Like, you know. Um, that's the average. She wants to know if you want to spend the rest of the night uh, in a room. Uh, You'll be. Yeah, yes. the accommodations are like this. Yeah. <laughs> uh, they you lead you, bath. They, they lead you down a hall. Uh, again, oil lamps are about every 20 feet. Uh, you see one of these halfling individuals filling an oil lamp. Uh, and looking at you guys strangely, you go all the way to the end of the hall, and the uh, female leading you uh, opens up this door, a very tall door, about 10 feet tall, uh, and inside is this just enormously spacious room. It's a suite. Uh, She hands an oil lamp to... Two, Ingve, uh, anchor, and uh, uh, you go in, and and this is going to be like a presidential suite. It's going to be very, very well furnished, big bed, huge bed, uh, and the bathrooms work. So oh. if you if you want to take a bath, Dave not in shit this time, or if you want to uh, try and figure out how the shower system works or the three shells, uh, you may do that. <laughs> exactly. This guy doesn't you... know the three shells. Well, yeah. I mean, <laughs> Dave, Dave has his lump of soap, so uh, Dave would like to take a bath so he can wash his clothes at the same time. Uh, nice. Give me an intelligence check. This should be good. Um, okay here i go um i can probably figure out how to turn it on 13 uh you just start turning knobs in a random way uh so you're getting a nice mix of hot and cold water uh don't ask me how the hot water heater is still working it's solar based uh we turned the power back on you know well yeah but you know Sorry. Didn't turn the like, are you okay in there <laughs> There, you guys hear rushing water. So, water. Uh, and whistling. Dave's standing there. Uh, Dave, uh, good news. There is a huge white fluffy cloak on the back of the door. Very, very Whoa. fluffy. Very fluffy. Uh, and it has. Dave, has, wear that well. His, it well has his hair dries. Robes, like single cloth robes uh, that don't have any armholes. Uh, but you can do that. Uh, Inside Azari, Ingve, and Tal, you guys find a, a fair number of weird things. Uh, you have no idea. We're talking phone, blah, 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 blah. Uh, I will take D20 straight up from U3, highest roll, find something interesting. 
18. 11. 15. Uh, Tal, you found the mini bar. Oh. Nice. <laughs> Careful, the almonds are very expensive. <laughs> <laughs> I, un- uh, I I find a small little disc with <coughs> little brown chips in it, and I unwrap it and I smell it, and I take a small bite, and it's way too sweet, so I nice. set it aside for Dave. <coughs> Azari and Ingve, uh, you find large bolts of cloth, but when you move them aside, you can see outside. Uh, it's about two, three a.m. in the morning. Down about one floor below is a lake, a rectangular lake uh, with chairs outside. But across the way, across the street, is an enormous building with stone pillars uh, completely lit up. There are lights down on the ground, which is cobblestone, shooting up at these pillars. And the, the building is... It kind of resembles a post office. Uh, it's not, but it's a government building. Uh, and you're overlooking this large plaza, and it's, yeah. you're overlooking this large plaza, uh, and you see this giant building. Uh, Dave, uh, you're pretty tall, so your feet are going to hang out of the tub. Well, that's uh, all right. I'll just sit with my knees bent. Scrubbing you, my slippers. You, you find you find this nice stick with a scrubby thing on it, oh, so you can read it. I all can, the cracks oh. and crevices. Uh, all of them. <laughs> Tall oh. has discovered uh, the I will mini lose bar. Half my lump of soap. Ingve and Azari, <clears throat> you you find just just weird items in here. You have no idea what they are or what they do. You do find uh, odd even. Odd, Ingve, you find a book in one of the drawers. Oh, uh, I take a look at the book. Could you describe the book? <laughs> uh, it's very thick. It's got tiny print. Um, it's placed by the Gideons. It is a Gideon say, Bible. <laughs> it's a $20 say, bill in there. It says Gideon. <laughs> yeah. Now, uh, Azari, uh, do you want to look anywhere specific in here? Um, I'll try to look for one of the, uh, like, because it's just a big suite room. Mm-hmm. Okay. And I've got a couple of rooms. So you've got the bed area. You've got a study area with a couch. Yeah. Uh, Dave's sitting in luxury in yeah. Trump's gold-plated toilet. I'll look in the uh, study area and try and see if there's anything of worth or interesting in there. So, uh, go ahead. I was to say, Dave, Dave will come strolling out when he's finally clean with, you know, a towel wrapped around his head and the big fluffy robe on with, with my normal belt tied around the outside of the robe to keep it mostly closed. And I'm carrying all my wet clothes and I'm going to start hanging them on the chairs. Jed Clamp, my bunny slippers. Right, gentlemen. <laughs> exactly. <laughs> uh, uh, I have I- found something for you. I say pointing <laughs> to the chocolate chip cookie I took a bite out of. <laughs> Ooh. Ah. Tiny. Uh, Azari, <laughs> you find a couple of things. Uh, they're bound parchments, magazines, essentially. Uh, and you notice one of them has what appears to be a mushroom cloud on it uh, with strange words. Uh, Ooh, this looks similar to, and I'll pull out the. Uh, oh, like no, I don't Dave. have it anymore. I gave it. I, I had it. I'll. Uh, it's like this is like this looks like the same pictures from the other book I had that showed uh, the large structures that fell. And mm-hmm. huh. <clears throat> as you leaf through it, yeah, uh, you get to the back and you notice there's a picture of the statue that you guys touched on the outskirts as you first entered the city. Uh, and as you flip through it, you notice another picture. It's that building outside. Um, oh, I'll but grab there. the book and head to the window and kind of look at that. And kind yep. of like do one of these like. And I'll see, like, I'll turn the page slowly to kind of like see if there's more pictures that maybe. 
correspond sure. in there. Uh, there's another picture uh, that looks like warriors uh, without shields dressed in green uh, with more of Dave's shotgun like things. Uh, you continue to flip through and then you see warriors wearing helmets, two sides. One has different colored clothes than the other, and they're on a field of green, like grass. Okay. Uh, and they seem to be fighting over uh, an oblong brown thing. Hmm. Uh, you continue to flip through, and these other pictures don't make any sense to you. Okay. Huh. But it, it looks like a, oh, here's your local guide. Yeah. I will put that book in my pack. Like, I'll keep that one. Sure. That's what you got. Uh, like I said, it's about two, three o'clock in the morning. If you guys want to sleep in, that's fine. Yeah. 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 So over I'll... at the mini bar. Oh, go ahead, Dave. Sorry. Oh, no, I was just going to say I am just going to find a comfortable accoutrement, you know, be a couch or whatever's in the suite. And... There's a giant fucking bed in here. There's a uh, uh, a padded uh, what do you call the thing at the end of the bed uh divan divan yeah. uh yeah. you got couches in there you got plush chair i mean it's presidential suite so you got a got a lot of nice places sure, sure. actually zara walk into the bathroom and see if he can figure out the like the three shelves the three shelves well, the, yeah. well the the shower and stuff because he smells of shit so he'd rather clean himself off before he yeah sure. he intelligence check. Clothes too. okay Oh yeah, and it's a wreck because you know filthy yeah. dead's been in there. Yeah. It's like the end of Encino Man after he's <laughs> <laughs> exactly. left all the mud all over the place. Uh, seventeen. Hopefully, yeah, seventeen. You, you figure out the knobs, and you're kind of curious, so you kind of turn the middle knob, yeah. and water stops pouring, but shoots out this one thing. Okay. Uh, D twelve against me. Six. Uh, four. Uh, Dave fucked with it earlier, so it's pointed directly at your face, and the water just oh. sprays you, and it's just all over the bathroom now. Uh, Dave, you didn't take all the towels, right? No, just one towel on the robe. Okay, is, it so a, is it like a steady stream that's coming out? Is it like a cat with a faucet? Is our, <laughs> you know, uh, you know what? One, to... One, one to three, it's the, the straight stream. Four to six, it's that pulsating yeah. piece of crap. <laughs> three, it's a straight stream right in the eye. Ah, Zari just closes his eyes, but he's like, this is actually quite nice. And just you find that it moves around so you can point it in any yeah. direction. So you adjust it. Takes off his armor and cleans up before he uh, goes to crash. bed. Yeah. Sure. Uh, so I'm going to, at the mini bar, I'm going to start going through the little bottles and sure. I actually open up one and I smell it. And realizing what it is, I will go into, when they're all done with the bathroom, I'll go into the bathroom and I will unwrap my left forearm um, in the privacy of the bathroom there, revealing a spot just above my wrist where it looks like there's teeth marks and part of my flesh has been ripped away and i will take the the alcohol and i'll dump it all over it and i grab onto the sink and grip my teeth while it partially sanitizes where the dead who walk attacked me uh give me a con check to make sure you don't scream out okay um 16 yeah, you grit your teeth, uh, and it hurts like hell, but uh, from your knowledge on the battlefield, you think uh, the Tanger Ray will probably go ahead and <laughs> sanitize the wound. <clears throat> I should have given you sparkling water. <laughs> oh, yeah, that would awesome. And then I will re readdress it. <clears throat> sure. Uh, who wants to uh, D12 against me to see how late you guys sleep? I've been. Oh, go ahead. Go ahead. Oh, yeah. Sorry. Four, uh, eight. eight. Uh, you guys, you guys get a good amount of sleep. Go ahead and consider it a long rest. Get your shit back. Uh, yes. the knock that. on the door. It's the third time the door has been knocked on. Uh, it is the female, and she has food for you. Uh, it looks like eggs. Uh, 
not scrambled more like uh i'll say sunny side up eggs nice. but each egg uh a little bit different <laughs> so in size texture and coloring so not all of them are going to be chicken eggs ah yeah that's right so i'll give you uh normal yellows small blues big browns okay i'll do we roll a... random or <laughs> no you can you can pick and choose also uh yes there's tang here <laughs> take it Dave's gonna go for big eggs coverage. okay i'll take yeah. the small blues okay yeah i'll take the yellow yeah whatever's left over i will eat uh, there, there's plenty for all of yeah. you oh, okay dave's eating it <laughs> i'll also yeah. uh uh, Azar will also refill his water skins in the uh, mm. bathroom with the fresh water that's coming through those things. Good yeah, call. Good I think they would have cleaned up before the night was over too. So, oh, what what are you gonna have? Uh, in terms of the eggs, yep. I'll just take a uh, little bit of each. Okay. Emu chicken and bluebird eggs. Go ahead and tell me how you like them. Oh, you uh, know. Roll for it or just just decide. Con check. Can't see. Yeah, just con. Okay. Eighteen. Ah, uh, fifteen. What a great thing to get a natural twenty on. <laughs> Twenty one. Uh nineteen for Ingbe. Yeah, everybody likes them. Uh, it's good. It's nutritious. Gives you that boost in the morning. You guys are feeling it. That's kind of high protein. Nice. Yeah. yeah. Uh, it's much everybody hears a screech outside. I'll go to the window and look out. You throw open the window and that winged serpent is flying close. D12 against me to see if it notices the rustling of the curtain. Oh, great. Five. <laughs> Five. Uh, We're okay. Tall goes, nope, nothing to see. Here. <laughs> nothing to see here. <laughs> Not a fucking thing out there. Uh, you know, it's, it, it's early morning. Uh Tall says, Ingve, there's something outside you should look. Yeah. <laughs> uh, hey, Dave, yeah. go outside on the balcony and see what's, <laughs> what's making that sound. Okay. <laughs> Who hasn't shit themselves this morning? Please yeah. go look outside. <laughs> uh, the, the creature looked mottled to you. Uh, some scales missing. Uh, Rumio, come check this shit out, man. Yeah. Groomio is not around. He's trying <laughs> to find Rakir for you. Uh, <laughs> and yeah, he'd probably tap on the window and then. <laughs> <laughs> Hello, darkness. Right there. There. Yeah. <laughs> uh, but yes, uh, after the meal, uh, the girl just sits there and looks at you. She's just kind of curious. You guys are oddities here. Uh, tall, she's seen people like yourself. She's non-committal it's not like hey you're my buddy uh, or oh you're an asshole that destroyed my life uh but she's waiting for you once you guys finish your meal uh she says mara we'll see you now thank Fantastic. you thank well, you dave's dave's definitely going to make sure to put on his recently cleaned bear hood and his pink slippers make sure he's just decked as well as he can be <laughs> Give me a performance check. Feathers in his hair. Well, you cleaned everything. <laughs> Natural twenty, so it's an eighteen. Nice. Wow. Wow. Well, you might as well have found the Kenmore washing machine. <laughs> uh, I used half my lump of soap. Yeah, you think that was soap? <laughs> <laughs> that was gum. <laughs> You've rubbed bubble gum all over yourself. Uh, you guys go down nice. the hallway back where Mara is sitting there. Uh, she is waiting. Grumio is present. Uh, and Grumio looks as happy as he can be seeing tall again. Uh, Mara points out uh, in the common tongue, we have news. Of which our uh, companion or my sister? Your, so your associate. Joy. He is currently leading an army of undead. Leading the army sounds of legit. Undead? That sounds <laughs> legit. Yeah. Yes. Akira finally popular. That tracks. <laughs> that yeah, one hundred percent tracks. tracks. <laughs> what do he you was, mean by this? Uh, he was spotted uh, slagging along 
which is some kind of term that they use uh, with the undead. He still and, lives. Uh, Grumio asks, and he's trying to formulate the words, important to you? I do not know him. Literally, you see Azari go, eh? <laughs> <laughs> Exactly. Little. Dave's kind of like, uh, he, he Grumio thinks for a minute and then he goes, <laughs> That is your friend now. Ingbe's thinking really hard on this and he's thinking maybe Rakir is alive and he's just like acting like one of them. <laughs> I would not put that past him. Check for him. Interesting. Uh, the old one will see you when ready. Uh, the mic's got more respect. <laughs> How's that? That's, That's better. better. That's better. Uh, the old one is out by the lake. Let's go to the lake then. Uh, Grumio will take you there. Lead on. Hmm. You're not boss of me. <laughs> uh, he goes over to the stairwell where you guys initially approached, uh, goes down one flight, walks across. Uh, this floor is just different. Uh, it's wide open. I mean, it's an open floor plan, and there are weird kinds of machines everywhere and a lot of mirrors. I mean, depending on where you look, you might see two or three Daves from the angles of everything. Oh, uh, that would thrill Dave. <laughs> the, the floor is very squishy. It's very soft underfoot. Uh, you, you depress into it, but as you walk away, the depression comes up. So it's some kind of very flexible rubber flooring. Uh, and there's just, giant windows um, that are open. The curtains are open and outside where Azari and Ingve saw the cement pond on the level below is this old guy smoking a pipe. Now you guys just saw that fucking dragon go by. Well, tall did. And this dude is out in the open, sitting there like a Mexican cartel leader by his pool, just hanging out. Uh, Grumio points, and there's their glass doors, but one of the doors is slightly open, so you can tell the differentiation. Apparently, this is the old one. And he's just sitting out there. I'll speak to him in the same tongue that I've been speaking to Mara in. Greetings, honored elder. I am Tall of Taram. I come with companions who wish to speak with you directly. This is Azari, whose uh, sister needs your aid. And I will bow and kind of motion for Azari to move forward. Azari, uh, you're getting the signal that uh, a greeting should be there. I'll step forward and nod my head and difference this water on walls is strange mm-hmm. <laughs> <laughs> yeah at least he's not doing the macarena so oh, yeah plus <laughs> um uh, hello i am Christo. what count is the problem <laughs> count of uh monte yeah <laughs> exactly lovely my sister sleeps uh my sister sleeps deeply our medicines cannot help her have you tried to kiss her it's not that kind of sleep uh okay it is the sleep of a of a malevolent spirit has cast upon her. I don't know what that is. A mean ghost. Oh, I know what that means. A mean Marley, apparently. 
Mar- oh, oh, why didn't you say so? <laughs> <laughs> we have families in that building that fell the other day. What? The building that fell yesterday? There was a Marley in there. Mm. Yes, a Marley. Uh, <laughs> do you have medicines or a way to help her that doesn't involve kissing? <laughs> no. Fuck this town. Uh, (laughs) (laughs) There are some elixirs, but it is over in that end. Uh, And you guys are are out on the veranda with a pool, and you can just look down over the side, and you'll see Central Plaza, where the government building's at. Mm -hmm. And he is pointing kind of north. Uh, the bottom of your map. Uh, there used to be healers when the city was alive. I was very young uh, when I told was told of this. Uh, and it is a till. Till. You go to the till, and uh, that is where the healers were. Uh, hmm. that they might have answers there. Okay. Is there a marking on building? Till. Elder. It, it says till. Any symbols? Paul just nods. Elder, that uh, building across from us, and I point to the one with the uh, uh, with the stone pillars. Mm-hmm. What is that? <clears throat> that was the building they said the leaders who corrupted the city used to work in. Hmm. The kings. Haunted mm. place. There is uh let me see. I think I, I know there's something in there. I'm gonna cast that uh I'll cast my um smell any Marley's detect creatures within one mile uh to see if there's a the aberration is there if the aberration energy starts pulling up from there. Uh, no, it's, there's your government building. There's an aberration over there. And does that aberration have to be in the direction of the till? Yeah. No, the till's at the other end. Okay. Uh, uh, no, that's the only one you'll be picking up on okay. uh, oh uh, and there are Marley's at the till hmm. how many enough that this old man's not going in there that's not saying a lot uh, I'm not afraid of Marley <sighs> this is a long Swish. trip it takes uh, there are things the the undead they roam the streets uh, and to get from here to till uh, the till uh, folks at home you don't have the map uh, but the till is what the fuck's that hang on a second I gotta find it it's disappeared (laughs) okay okay yeah uh uh, the till will be at the far end of the city the northernmost point in the city mother heck Mm. a little bit like yeah yeah you get you guys are headed to greenwood indiana (laughs) (laughs) 
folks outside of Indiana, uh, Indianapolis is a big stretch, about 15 miles. So you guys, you, you guys got a hike. <laughs> yeah. Shit. Now, you know, you take a road and you'll probably be okay. <laughs> you'll be exposed. That night. Nice. That area well, has light on it, though, or it's past that l- giant light source on the map here. Uh, oh, the giant light source. It's this way. Uh, it is west uh, of the giant light source. Uh, the light source, the giant light source down there. Uh, yeah, you don't want to go there. What's there? Uh, that is where they used to play games. While the big heads are talking, Gabe, uh, Dave's going to pull maintenance on his gear. Just sure. flop down on the deck out there and start maintaining sure. things. You're on a chaise, la- a chaise lounge. You're fine. <laughs> you do not seem to fear the flying lizard. I do not think I would make a good meal for it. Does it have a special diet? It eats the dead. Might eat you. Would certainly eat him. And where he's pointing is directly behind you. Uh, And as you turn around, you can see Grumio. (laughs) He can lead you to the till. Oh, joy. That's what, takes thought, a thought I just deep breath. Dead. <laughs> <laughs> well, the first rule about surviving a zombie apocalypse is you don't have to be faster than the zombies. You have to be faster than the other guy. So exactly. I'm cool with this plan. <laughs> okay. Yeah, you you may ask Grumio to Dave's take like you to the knows that Azari is faster than any of us. So <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Azari is the fastest. Dave's- his options here to, <laughs> not for long. Don't like this plan. <laughs> if he knows the city, we would welcome him. Uh, Grumio is a valuable warrior. He has been all over the city. Grumio. <laughs> Grumio. Uh, that sounds fantastic. If Grumio will accompany us, we would appreciate it. You can ask. That's all I got. Oh shit! He he stands. Hey, up. He disrobes, being buck naked, and mm. dives into the cement pond. <laughs> Now, is it still chlorinated? Is it uh, clear water or is it like... It is clear water. Wow. Wow. Okay. There's some quality systems out here to last the apocalypse. Thank God. Some son of a bitch turned on the power. (laughs) (laughs) It didn't always look like this. The pool skimmer is on. (laughs) You you Uh, got the the vacuum at the bottom yeah (laughs) just constantly running yeah yeah they're living high on the hog now hell you know they got everything here you guys never did bother to flip a switch because the lights do work in this place (laughs) (laughs) we have no concept of light switch what are you talking about so yeah if you want to go talk to grumio that's what you got oh damn it yeah let's see if grumio will help sorry yes Offer him this, and I hand Azari one of my two remaining Grubeck daggers. Sure. Uh, They're I, exceptional quality, plus one damage. I walk over to uh, Grumio. Grumio, would you be willing to take us to the till? We need guide to the till, and I hand him a dagger as payment. He, he's just focused in on tall. Oh my gosh. And he, he sees the dagger and he's like, Sure. For me? Yes. <laughs> I 
<laughs> just I <laughs> fucking tall again. Please don't stop. Just tall. I'm just standing there staring at him. <laughs> uh, you want to go to the Till? Yes. Yes, please. It is three day trip to Till. Groomio might have date tonight. Then we can go tomorrow. You should get lucky tonight, then, Groomio. <laughs> go tomorrow in daytime. Do your best to get laid tonight, Groomio. <laughs> hey, hey, what is laid? Why would I? I'm the. All right. Uh, yeah. Mm. The beast thing, with two backs, Dave. Yeah, white, oh. uh, <laughs> yeah what's oh, his persuasion. name? What's Dave has with, seen this. <laughs> Not Ooh, look good. There you go. 19. I get half of what we take. You can get half of what you find. You can keep what you find. I want an apology to. From whom? The guy who grabbed me around my neck. Uh, oh, 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 <laughs> oh, okay. <laughs> Tall, could you say you're sorry for not killing him quickly and letting him live or something of that nature? He requires an apology for us to. Oh, oh, Tal, Tal can understand him completely. I will step forward to be next to Azari, and I will look down at our Diminutive hopeful guy. companion. And I look Grumio in the face. I will speak in that language that they understand better than my companions do. And I will say, I apologize that I have hurt your pride. It was not my intention. I have a sacred oath and I will put aside my dislike of you to make sure that my companion saves his sister. Yeah, she's probably already dead. <laughs> like they're going to let us back in bar. Right. <laughs> <laughs> if, you guide us, <laughs> if you guide us to the till and back, <clears throat> I will face you in combat if you still wish it. Okay. (laughs) I'll bite my finger and I'll put my hand out to shake his hand. Dave's totally got the measure of this conversation, even though he understands not one word. (laughs) Yeah. (laughs) Um, Persuade me, uh, Paul. Sure. Sure. Ooh, uh, seven plus uh, five, 12, oh, plus five. Oh, yeah, that's right. I have a charisma score. <laughs> uh, 12. Uh, he's nah, not digging okay. that. Yeah. <laughs> I'll pass. Uh, we will leave at first light tomorrow. I will just nod my head. I'll step back. I'll Dave wants to off my finger. step a little bit closer and look at Grumio and look him over really good and then look at Tall. Look at Grumio, look back at Tall, look at Grumio and say, you could probably take him. <laughs> and then I'll go back I, to working on my equipment. Nice slippers. <laughs> 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 so you guys have a day to nice. fuck around. You can investigate this building, which is a higher end hotel. Uh, you can make a quick jaunt over to the government building. Uh, if you're feeling lucky. Now, uh, you... uh, machines, were they slots <laughs> by any chance? <laughs> Is it a casino? <laughs> no, you are not in a gambling hall. Okay. Uh, you're close to one, but you are not in a gambling hall. Okay. I kind of want to check the government building. Yeah, I, like I saw that too. Because I saw the warriors with the, with the guns. I want to see if maybe they have, or with their with the weapons they had, which I see that... Uh, Dave has one and Tall has one. Maybe we could two. find <laughs> maybe we could find another one. Maybe we could find another one or more of the um or maybe something that shows us how to use them. 
That would be Dave's thinking about asking Tall if, if he could show him how, but Dave's not sure he trusts Tall yet. So, <laughs> only been two days, you know. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And he Actually, heard I was in a, Yeah, I was going to suggest showing them since I see that they have them. I'm going to su- show them how to not kill themselves with them. <laughs> <laughs> that would be nice. Point this end the other way. Yeah. Um, Don't look yeah. down the barrel. <laughs> Grumio says already did that. Grumio <laughs> says he will meet you uh, right here on the pond uh first light if we're alive then sure okay so sorry uh dave sorry you want boomstick dave have two uh, blah, 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 blah. you already gave one to grumio i didn't give a gun to grumio i gave him a dagger. dagger oh I that's have, right that's right i have that's two, the right. two boomsticks yeah uh one that i got before and then the one i got from false tall Sure, why not? What what harm would it do to see if a shotgun doesn't blow my own face off at some point? Tall, how much instruction are you going to give them? I will basically go through uh, the general purpose of it. It's going to fire this. You aim it this way. This is how you rack it. This is how you might put another bullet into it. A shell. What you me. have here, gentlemen, is a yeah. Remington 750 single shot pump action shotgun. You oh, will okay. follow my instructions and you will blow your That's goddamn right. heads off. <laughs> Probably blow your nuts off. But, you know. <laughs> nice. Both think boss good for steers and queers. I don't see no bulls around here, boys. <laughs> oh, so, man. We've he, never he, had a minotaur in Bond. Yeah, right. <laughs> yeah I'll just I'll I'll show them the basic purposes. I'm not going to show them how to disassemble it or anything crazy like that. Just right. basically the general, like, first class of gun safety school. Like, this is how you don't don't hurt yourself with it, basically. Dave and Azari uh, intelligence rolls. Uh, one or two means you are not clued in. <laughs> <laughs> You want to roll Dave to roll at disadvantage or what? <laughs> right. Oh, I, I don't think I have to. When you're scores. Uh, well, no, actually, <laughs> that's not that bad. Oh, there you go. Uh, minus two makes that a 14. Uh, 13. Okay. Yeah. They both got the hang of it. Uh, you see the little red shell things. He shows you how to combat load it. Oh, uh, Dave. The under. Okay. Uh, he, he, he didn't mention the safety. <laughs> <laughs> Azari stops and goes, What's the range on this weapon? Is it for close? Is it for long range? Uh, none of you have blue shells yet, right? Just red. Okay. Uh, they have uh, bird shot. Yeah, they've got bird shot. Yeah, so I'll explain that a closer enemy will feel the fire more. Hmm. Azari will, you know, stow it in his pack with uh with the stuff, but he's like, I'll safety off, point it in the crack of the house. <laughs> you, I don't have you... any shells, so it doesn't matter. <laughs> I don't know if there's any in the one I gave you. <laughs> <laughs> Fair I, enough. Guess, I guess uh he'll check and I, see if it's loaded. <laughs> I took the one from the the other tall. Yeah, I, Dave would want to check that too and be loading it with shells if not. Uh, D12, both of you. I will tell them if you use against the dead who walk, aim for their head. 11, 12. Uh, Dave, you're locked and loaded. Azari, give me a D4. Okay. Four. Your weapon is hot with four shells. Dave, you're trying to jam another one of those red ones in there and the damn thing won't go. Oh. Tall doesn't know what the hell he's talking about. That's not how it works at all. <laughs> Azari stops and goes, is there a way to empty this? So it like he like holds it up. So I'm not pointing it at anyone, but no hands on. No hands on the drink. He's like, is there a way to empty this so it does not misfire? Or if an accident were to happen and we fall, I would... I wouldn't want it to go off and blast my ass off. <laughs> so, so these are pump action shotguns, correct, Frank? Mm-hmm. Okay, so I will demonstrate turning. Let me turn wingmasters. <laughs> uh, yes, I'll demonstrate turning it on the side and, and pumping it the certain way to, you know, ex, uh, knock expel. out the shells. Expel. Thank you. <laughs> expel expel the shells the proper way. And okay. Um, oh. 
It's raining shells, man. <laughs> Azari will Azari will expel the four shells and put the shells in his uh, put the shells in his pack. Now, uh, Dave, you got six shells in yours. Azari has four. Each of you roll a d twelve. If any of the result is one, that's a blue shell. Ooh. Three. Not five. Well, you got four shells. Okay. Dave has six. Twelve. Eleven. Eight. Four. And three. No. Okay. And since you gave me my shotgun, Frank, um, Mm -hmm. how should I check? Should I do a similar check to know what I... Uh, how many did I tell you how many shells I gave you? You did not. Uh, you have 11 shells, six are bird shot and five are slugs blue. Okay. Really big boomstick. <laughs> uh, since those have, since these have shells and he knows these are for kind of close. Mm-hmm. Azari kind of looks tall. Have you ever seen these sticks that shoot the fire? Have you seen them for uh, with that are more precise or shoot from a distance? I am well versed in melee combat, but I prefer the bow if given the option. I have not. Hmm. If there are. Yeah, he has not seen any rifles yet. Okay, it uh, may be if there are, if there are these weapons that shoot fire, something less. <laughs> I'm sorry, I just thought about uh, Mean Girls, Remington bolt action <laughs> rifle. <laughs> Christians can shoot the dinosaurs. <laughs> <laughs> yes. I would, uh, I would prefer something more precise. <laughs> Nice. Has uh, he shown us the book and the pictures of the? Oh, soldiers? I'll show the. I'll show him the okay. book with the, uh, with the like it shows the soldiers and things like that. If, if there were their leaders in that building, they would more than likely carry <coughs> better sticks of fire. Uh, tall. We you should hope some of the helmets. Helmet. You recognize some of the helmets. Uh, from your opponents. Ah, interesting. I'll point out those ones, and I will say the Kelvin Raiders. So you are, maybe you or their, them are descendants of this, this war? I don't know. My people have not always been from the West. They came there from other places, but that is not known to me from the time before. I am paladin. My job to heal, protect, battle not study. He is paladin from San Francisco. I've got to really get that joke. <laughs> yeah, you got to be really old for that one. Uh, <laughs> well, so, so after the explanation, you guys want to head over to the government building, see what's going on? Yeah, let's, yeah, check let's it out. do yeah. that. We're going to uh, go see the government people. <laughs> you guys let's, kill, go, let's kill some ghosts with a shotgun, y'all. <laughs> you guys go over to the stairwell, go all the way down. Uh, who wants to roll against me, D12? What's it for? No. <laughs> <laughs> before I add him, before I roll. Yeah. yeah. Uh, I'll, I'll roll. Come on, Ingve, do it. Yeah, do it, Ingve. You're, hey, Ingve. you're our Ingve. D12 there. You always give us interesting results. Six. Three. Uh, <sighs> you correctly get out on the first level floor. Uh, much like the workout room that you were on with the elder. Uh, this is the lobby area. Very huge, very big, very, very upscale. All the plants are dead. 
<laughs> can't nobody water the plants. Uh, the, the door, and I, this is designed for Dave, uh, is right there. So everybody roll an intelligence check. Intelligence is my low stat. Um. Minus one. <laughs> nice. Uh, uh, nine. Uh, 14 for Ingve. 12 for Azari. Uh, Azari, Tal, and Ingve, you go through the door and you notice that it is on a spindle and it starts to rotate. You guys <laughs> nice. walk out. Dave is still going around. <laughs> I cannot see! I cannot! Help! <laughs> and he starts to Damn run, trapped. just making it go faster. <laughs> <laughs> Uh, <laughs> finally Dave figures it out or starts smashing shit one of the two I'm going to probably go with the latter uh, yeah. and he gets out wipes yeah. it off uh, you guys are in an open area uh, you're, there's an overhang uh, pillars holding up the overhang uh, and you don't see shit on the street uh, and it's uh, all the buildings in the section between your hotel and the government building fucking rubble. So you can't really see there's pile of rubbles or pile of piles of rubble everywhere, but you can see the government building. So you can either go around or over top the rubble and then get to the government building. Let's go over the top B line. Fair enough. Everybody give me three dexterity rolls. Two, three. Uh, 20 and 16 and... 20 for the second. 13. And... Uh, the 20, 14, yeah, two. nine for the third. What was your first one? 20. Okay. 20. Mm-hmm. Oops, come on. Paul's going to go with seven. 11 and 19. Okay. Uh, Nat 20, 17, and 22. Tall uh, goes over the top and twists his ankle. Tall's dexterity uh, mass, he is dump stat. Two hit points of damage, uh, okay. but you guys make it over. Everybody give me perception check. Want, want. That I'm good at. Yeah. 23. Uh, uh, 17. 20. 16. 22. All of you guys notice something to the left, government building to the right. Uh, It is a creature. It is large, about eight feet tall at the shoulder. It is covered in long, coarse brown and black hair. uh, And it has a pair of tusks, very large tusks. and it is kind of swaying as it is walking down. Uh, beyond that, nice. you can see uh, creatures hiding in the rubble beyond that. So as the Snuffleupagus begins I was to say that. <laughs> you, uh, you can make a run for it or let the damn thing pass. Uh, it seems to be plucking small strands of greenery weeds essentially out of the asphalt <coughs> i want to continue well, forward past it so i can get out of its way but end up on the side that we're going towards sure yeah, same same no reason to mess with the creature yeah you guys yeah. are over the top you're like fuck it we'll run past it the damn thing's running slow <clears throat> you start to move the proboscis, the nose, the uh, trunk, if you will, comes up and trumpets. And the thing starts to charge towards you. Everybody dex check to make sure you don't trip over the uneven cobblestones of the central plaza. Great. I just wasted that natural 20. 17. <laughs> 17 uh, as well. 14. Uh, This creature is hauling the mail, uh, and you guys take off running. All of a sudden, you hear battle yells. 
take a quick peek around. <clears throat> Four of those halfling creatures are throwing spears at this creature. Uh, you guys make a beeline. You get in underneath the columns. Underneath the columns are steps going up. Uh, three sets, three sets of double doors are right there, trimmed in brass. Uh, sigils across the top. You cannot read them. Uh, and carvings like statues inset to the building are right there. Uh, the mastodon isn't coming after you. Mr. Snuffleupagus is busy with these other halflings. You do not recognize them, so you don't know if they're the same group. We're not going hunting anyway, so yeah, they can have it. <clears throat> one of the doors is, or one of the double doors has been fractured, so all the glass is right there. The other two are intact. So you surmise you can go in, but if these little bastards aren't friendly, they can come in too. Nice. nice. So they're the same want... kind of. They're a bunch of halflings like the other guys. Yeah, that's that's pretty much how they look. You don't know if they're with the same tribe or not. Well, let's go in. It's the chance we take is adventuring. Yep. Uh, no combat tonight. <laughs> but the good news is uh dave and azari now rudimentarily rudimentary know how to use the boom sticks yeah, yeah. i got my Ooh. boom stick and, and now i have an arch nemesis which is more important no, I'm just yeah of course <laughs> and and Rubio's <laughs> back back back. right now uh but i sometimes you can't have a lot of combat because i wanted you guys to get a clean a b rested and wow. c get some information uh of all of you uh jesse's got the most information at this point in time because he's got the visitor's guide nice. to mayo or your uh and there are some subtle clues that have been dropped there but uh i digress kevin what'd you think Great stuff. Yeah, I definitely needed that long rest. I appreciated that. Uh, <laughs> awesome. Yeah, fun man. stuff. Um, I liked uh, getting to play with the fact that um, Tall get to actually speak like a normal person, <laughs> not the broken English. That was fun. That was uh, that was a fun thing to do. But yeah, this is a cool party. I uh, I I dig it. I dig it. We're all bringing a lot. We'll see. <laughs> uh, <laughs> Jesse, what do you think? That's good. I'm excited to. Uh... I like that there's uh, Azari keeps getting this de facto leader portion, but he has he feels about as in control as uh, nothing. He, uh, he has no control. Over he has no control over this. Well, you know, <laughs> some people have greatness thrust upon them. Azari. Yeah, I, I guess. Uh, <laughs> yeah. Maybe oh. Azari is just uh, the dumb one of the group, I guess. <laughs> yeah, but uh, no, I'm really enjoying trying to uh, like Azari trying to expand his uh expand the, the option to expand his horizons on some of this like trying to trying to catch pieces and learn a new language and and the option ooh if i find a rifle it's that'll be fun yeah oh Lying trust a rifle there we go that, there there's a lot more than a rifle in this town <laughs> <laughs> give uh, dave a minigun okay. yeah, exactly. uh, dude what you think uh, I enjoyed it. I'm glad I didn't like make any stupid decisions, like uh, <laughs> use Thunder Wave to open the door. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> yeah. The, those guys were potential allies, uh, potential threat if it went wrong. So yeah, if that the fire would have yeah. been more deadly, I definitely would have used Thunder Wave to <laughs> send it back. <laughs> oh, you would have sent that slab right down on top of you. That would have been awesome. <laughs> <laughs> uh, Rob, what'd you think? Oh, I had fun. Lots of fun. I attacked a door. Yeah, and you got your clothes clean. That's right. And you yeah, ate yeah. almonds. I should have yeah. given you a peanut allergy. I, <laughs> <laughs> I thought about that. I was like, yeah. oh, good thing I know restora lesser restoration. <laughs> you know? Yeah. Uh, next time you guys are in the government building, uh, there will be blood. <laughs> oh, right. yes. No doubt. Oh, yeah, it's the government sure. building. Else's. It's uh, yeah. the government. Yeah, yeah but oh. what are we going to do in there? <laughs> <laughs> Make things, please. You're going to mess it up. 
is what yeah. you're going to do. The only thing Probably. missing is a flag. <laughs> 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 Folks, this has been the Calamity Campaign. Thanks for joining us. We hope you enjoyed it as much as we did. Follow us on Twitch. Follow us on Twitter. That's Take awesome. a look at our YouTube archive. Uh, if you want to shoot the shit about D&D, join our Discord. If you're in the market for some cool custom dice, hit up at Pirate Dog Dice. If your game stinks and you want to make it smell like success like ours, oddfishgames.com has over 60 adventure scents uh, for your nasal pleasure. Uh, the Murder Hobo Con was a raging success. Uh, we get to write a big check to Oceana. So that's a plus. It is over. If you missed it, wah, wah. Uh, other than that, uh, Tuesday, uh, check out the Socium project that, that David uh, explained earlier. Uh, we've got another couple people talking about their nations. Uh, next Saturday, one shot, open one shot. So if you're interested in playing, uh, hit us up, M Hobo Inc., Twitter or Gmail, and we will try and get you on there. For all of us here at Murder Hobo Inc., Thanks for joining us. Have a great rest of the weekend, and we'll see you later. Big kiss and wave, boys. Bye, everybody.